Hey, what is up with you guys and girls today? In today's video, if you guys are sick and tired of being a low overall, you're sick of being that 60 overall, that 88 overall, you want to hit that VIP, or just hit that 90 overall, the 92 overall just like me, this is the best method for you point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards. I will have a power forward center method in the next couple of days. So this is for you guards and forwards. So make sure to, get, to do everything I say on the screen and in the video. So what I did is go Hall of Fame, 10 minute quarters. Now you can put 12 minute quarters if you guys want. So that's why I'm only getting 60 to 70k rep. If you put up to 12 minute quarters, you can get up to 80k to 100k rep if you do not miss as many shots as I miss. Now with the first method, we have the difficult shots blended in with the pick and roll maestro success and the dribble drive success. Now first off, if you are a point guard, call for that isolation play. So press right on the D-pad then R1 to call for the quick isolation. If you are not a point guard, you can still do this by just pressing R1 to call for the pick. So as soon as you see the person hits the pick, you go straight to the mid-range and pull up for a difficult shot. Now, what you guys want to do, you do not want to fade away, but as soon as you guys hit that screen, so I've got the ball in my right hand because I'm going right. So you don't have to do the crossover. As long as you have it in that right hand and automatically go as soon as you see the guy picks hits the pick, you run that way where the pick is set. So have a look right here. Number 15 is going to set the pick. I'm going to run in that direction and then press. I did a spin move right there, but you can you can do a spin move. That gives you mid-range dead eye and difficult shots. But if you want to do the method I'm just doing right here, is call for the pick, go straight to range, and then shoot it by pressing, holding square down, and you will hit that 99% of the time. If you do have bronze and above difficult shots, but I highly recommend to have silver at least because you're on Hall of Fame difficulty and it is very, very hard. And do not miss too many of these because it goes off how much percentage you hit. So if you miss, you hit 15 from 15, you're probably going to get 20,000 XP. But if you shoot 10 from 15, probably going to get like 13 to 14K. So make sure not to miss too many of these shots. But as you guys can see, I'm hitting most of mine because I do have Hall of Fame difficulty. So this is best for you shot creators, but it can work for any other build as long as you have difficult shots in your build and or pick a roll master in your build. So that is the best way and probably the most method you can get for point guard, the most XP method you can get. Now the second method is teardroppers. In teardroppers, you do the same thing. You call for that pick, dribble drive success, and go right in and do a floater. Now... Do not do a floater if it is heavily contested unless you are a slasher or a shot creator because you do not have that Hall of Fame teardropper. And that Hall of Fame teardropper works very well. But as you guys can see, I had lots and lots of space. Because if you take over 40 shots of anything, so if you take 40 difficult shots, nothing else will count. So that's why you want to do teardroppers to mix it in as well. There's a lot more methods in this video, so stick around if you're enjoying this so far. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're almost at 25k. Help me hit that if you'll be greatly appreciated. But as you guys can see, see that I get so much space off that pick and roll master. That's why it's the best method to always call for the pick. And the quick isolation, especially if you're a point guard, is such a game changer, I'm telling you. As soon as you hit 94 overall, you'll see such a change when you can do these quick isolations plays. And everything like that. Teardroppers give you a lot of XP. But as I said, just like the difficult shots, they do drop. So if you shoot 15 from 15, that's 15 to 20k. 10 from 15, that's probably like 10 to 12k. So make sure to not to miss the money of these. Make sure it's open just like that one. That wasn't really open. It said open, but it wasn't open at the end. But that is the one. The second option that you guys can do is the teardropper. First option is the difficult shots. Let's get on to the third one, which is the acrobatic layups. Again, best for shot creators and slashes, but you can still do this if you are a point guard shooting out a small forward. Even centers can do this. So what we're gonna do is call for the pick, pick and roll rise story success with the dribble drive success, double tap square or double tap X, but make sure if you're not a shot creator or slasher to make sure the paint is open like this one. I've only got one person on me, but I can do a quick spin. And make sure you get a green nearly every single time. I've only got a gold acrobat. But as you guys are seeing right here, I'm hitting most of them because I'm timing it perfectly. And that relentless finisher does help it a lot. It does give you that hard, like I can't, I don't know what it's called, but it gives you a little bit more XP, like an extra 200, which isn't that bad. But acrobatic layups are the best because if you miss 100 shots and you make 100 shots, you're not going to get downgraded because it doesn't go off your shooting percentage. 
So you get like four to 500 XP, maybe even more per acrobatic layup. Plus you get the pick and roll master of success and the dribble drive success. So that is a hell of XP. That dribble drive success gives you at least like 300. The pick and roll maestro success gives you like four to 500 on Hall of Fame, which is a hell of a lot. I'm telling you, you get so much rep from just these little bits of methods. But we've got some more methods coming up in a little bit. As you guys can see, open paint, double tap that square, and make sure you time it correctly. Now, the next one we have is flashy passes and alley oop assist. Again, off the pick and roll maestro and the dribble drive success. I'm going to keep cementing that into your brains to always do this on every single offensive possession unless you're on a fast break. That is the only time you do not do this. But as you guys are seeing, I'm calling for the pick because sometimes you cannot get open for that for that shot. You see the guy, there's always going to be a guy in the corner. It might be not in your corner that you're in, but if he's in the corner like LeBron James is right here, you double tap circle or double tap B and pass it out to LeBron. He's going to hit it 99% of the time. But if you're on like the Warriors and you have Stephen Curry or Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant in the corner, they're going to make it more times than not. Now with the alley-oop assists and the, and the screens, you're going to have a big body center like Kyle Anthony Towns, DeMarcus Cousins. DeAndre Jordan's probably the perfect center for the alley-oop assists and for the pick and roll maestro because his brick wall is very good. It's like a gold or a Hall of Fame. And he's ca catch and shoot. What is he? He's Lob City finisher. It's Hall of Fame as well. Now, these are the extra options that you guys can do. First off, I'm showing you is the limitless range shots. Make sure you do not miss too many of these. Again, it does cap you on how much you can shoot. But if you miss too many, you got to lose a lot of XP. So make sure you do this. This is perfect for you sharpshooters, playmaking sharpshooters. Anything with sharpshooting in your build. Obviously, I can still do it because I'm a shot creator. I have like an 83 point. That is perfect. Now, again, on the fast break score, you can mix it up with the fast breaks. Once you get that steal, or the block, I'm going to explain that more in, more in the video. But the fast break scores give you like three to 400. And then you do whatever you do a floater, an acrobatic layup, a difficult shot, a fadeaway, anything like that, you're going to get extra. Now, another thing is mid range dead eye. As you guys are seeing, I'm getting difficult shots and mid range dead eye in this bit right here. I just double tap square or double tap B, I can't, or double tap square. X on Xbox to do that move and you will hit it most of the time because you have the mid-range data and difficult shots that's perfect for you shot creators again but I am showing you other ways because playmakers can do this as well it's just going to be all the time with the luck but as you guys can see steals are the biggest thing to get in this game they are so big to get because if you get like 10 that's an extra 5k on your rep if you get 5 blocks that's an extra 4,000 XP on your rep. You get so much for blocks and steals, and you transfer them to fast break scores. Once the flashy pass assist, alley oop assist, difficult shots. Tyler Scorer, obviously, is a really good one as well. Tyler Scorer it gives you so much. As long as you don't miss too many shots, it does cap you again. If you miss too many, you will not be able to get the maximum amount of rep you will lose a lot of rep. So that's why I highly recommend to do Tyler scoring shots because they probably do give you the most, but make sure you make it, make sure they're open. Do not make heavily contested shots. If I've got Hall of Fame Tyler scorer and sometimes I miss a lot. So that is why it is difficult just to hit Tyler scorer shots. But that is the best methods on NBA 2K19 for the point guards, shooting guards, small forwards. Now, recapping it, you got difficult shots with the pick and roll maestro and the dribble drive. Then you got the alley oop assist, flashy pass assist. You've got the steals, you've got the blocks, you've got the fast break scores. You've got the difficult shots with the mid range dead eye. You've got the tireless scorer. You've got so much in this video. You've got the limitless range shots as well. You can call for the pick and roll maestro and do the dribble drive success off of the limitless range which i wouldn't highly recommend but once you get that team team takeover go for your assists because you want to get them assists i'll get at least 10 to 20 assists a game and i get about 100 points 110 points 10 to 20 assists per game and i do get between 60 and 80k rep on 10 minute quarters so just transfer that to 12 minute quarters which you're going to get about 100k rep if you do do it properly and do not miss most of your shots so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please leave that like. Let's aim for 50 likes in the video. Share the video to everyone of your friends if this helped you out at all. 
hit that subscribe button because we're almost at 25,000 subscribers. Be greatly appreciated. I can't wait to hit that. Anyway, guys, thank you for the continuous support. I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will be a center wrap up video, video for you centers. So be on the track, turn post notifications on, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll catch you guys in the next video.